Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video and in this one I'll be talking about the ACS patch on Ubuntu 20.04. First, this guide assumes that you already have GPU pass-through working on your system. If you don't, you can use my guide and it's linked in the description. One caveat about the ACS patch, try everything else first, like try moving the PCI Express device to a different slot before you go for the ACS patch as this should be the last resort option if nothing else works. Before we get started, I just want to talk a little bit about the ACS patch and what it does. So all your devices on your computer are grouped into IOMMU groups. So here I will run IOMMU viewer and it's linked in the video description so we can see our IOMMU groups. And right here is my graphics card that I'll be using for pass-through, a GTX 980, and it's in the same group as a USB controller, one of the add-on cards. So if I wanted to pass only the graphics card to the virtual machine, and I will add the graphics card to the virtual machine now, I wouldn't be able to because the group is not viable, is not viable. Please ensure all devices within the IOMMU group are bound to their VFIO bus driver. So what that means is unless I bind this device to the VFIO driver, I am not able to use this one on its own. And what I could do, I could just bind the USB controller to the VFIO driver and be done with it. So that would be an easy way of doing it. But sometimes you might run into a problem where that device is actually needed by the host itself. And in that case, you cannot bind it to the VFIO PCI without losing the functionality. So what you would have to do in a case like that is either start moving the cards around and hopefully get that device out of that same IOMMU group, or you would use the ACS patch to break up the IOMMU groups and be able to pass whatever device without these restrictions. So that's enough background. And if you want to know more about it, I will link a good article in the video description you can read. But uh, let's get started on uh, the ACS patch itself. To get started, we'll download the patched kernel and uh, we'll use this site that has them. And I'll leave it in the video description. Uh, if you want to know what kernel you're currently running, uname-r tells you what it is. So 5.4. You can download a newer kernel if you want. I'll just go with pretty much the same. So download image save it, go to my downloads and install it. Let's right click on this, open with other application, software install, select. Let's wait for it a bit and it takes a bit, but eventually you will see this window, hit install, and wait again. Okay. So that's done. Next, we'll have to make a couple adjustments to our initram MFS. So let's go here. And again, I'll leave this in the video description and we'll copy this. So all the echo statements, we'll copy them, go to our terminal, sudo dash i or password and paste those statements and now we'll regenerate our initramfs update init ramfs dash u okay that's done next we have to update our grub so let's use nano etc default grub 
And on the same line, we edit it for our GPU pass-through. Originally, we'll add this. PCIe underscore ACS underscore override equals downstream. Okay, control O to save it, control X to exit. Now update dash grub and reboot. Okay, and now that we are back, let's open up our terminal and let's make sure we are running the new patched kernel. Uname dash R and we are still running the old kernel. So what do we need to do? Let's reboot. And I'll press, uh, once it starts booting, I'll press up and down arrows just so I catch the bootloader. Okay, so now we'll need to count. Ubuntu is number zero. We start from zero and advanced option is one. Windows is two and UEFI firmware is three. So you probably have something very similar. Zero, one, remember one. Click on it and then our ACS kernel right here is zero, one, two, three, four. So remember that one and four. Let's boot into it and let's open up our terminal. Let's become a super user and let's edit grub. And this grub default right here, that's where we enter quotations. So option one and four. End of quotations, control O, control X, I mean, enter and control X and update grub. And let's make sure we can boot into it by default. Okay, terminal and uname dash R and we are using the right kernel. Perfect. Some of you might run into an issue where the system will just hang when it tries to boot. If that's the case, uh, go to your ACSO kernel, hit E, and at the end of this line, well, not at the very end, right after downstream, type in no mode set and hit F10. Now that it's all ready, let's see what our IOMMU groups look like. Okay, and our GPU right here is in group 13 and it's alone. The USB controller that used to be in the same group is now in its own group. So when we launch Virtual Machine Manager and we have this GPU here, we should be able to run the virtual machine without any issues and without getting that error because the IOMMU group isn't shared anymore. So that's that for ACS patching on Ubuntu 20.04. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.